It's another topic I want to touch on. <clears throat> Make sure y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel ASAP. So I'm about to go in. Just another uh, thing I want to talk about. I, I was looking at, I was on YouTube, uh, I think it was like last week. Interesting to me, I, you know, this, this lady was on this radio show, and uh, I think she was even in a relationship with Murray, but tell me what y'all think about this. She, she said, you know, it's like she said, you can't put a price on loyalty, which is true. She said, uh, she said, the ring is a ring. She said, basically, just because a dude, he said, she said, a dude can buy you a $10,000 ring, but he's still going to be cheating on you. You know, which is true. I agree with her. And then she also said that, she said, uh, she said, a ring is a ring. She said, it don't matter. She said, she don't care if a guy buys her a cheap ring. You know, she'll still find it, you know, good. You know, long as she said, long as a guy, you know, is good to her. You know, she said, she said another interesting thing, and you don't hear a lot, a lot of women talking about this. But she, another interesting thing, she said the wedding don't even got to be big. She said they can get married in the backyard, you know, and it is, she'll still be good. Now, me, personally, I agree with that. Because you look at it like this. Kim K and the other guy, I think he played football or something. They wasn't married for long. They they paid a lot of money for the wedding, but they wasn't married for long. But look how long they was together. They wasn't they wasn't together for long, and then they separated just like that. So that that goes to show you, and and big ups to the, to the lady on that radio show because I fully agree with her. You can't put a price on loyalty because what for one. A big wedding isn't isn't going to guarantee y'all uh, stay together long, and that's not going to guarantee the person that's going to, you know, stick with you or be loyal to you. It's not a big wedding is not going to guarantee somebody to treat you good, you know. Same with a ring. You know, you you can you can buy a person a you can buy a person a. a a ring ranging from the thousands to the to the millions. I mean, but that's not gonna you you can you can get y'all can get married this year, and then y'all y'all can be you know y'all y'all can be separated this year. So that's why that's why I tell people everybody wants a, a big wedding and all that. And, and then another 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 thing, she even said this. She said. She wouldn't even care if her homegirls clowned her on a ring being cheap because she said she said she don't care about her homegirls opinion about you know her relationship. You know, it's about what what she thinks and what her man thinks, which is true. Because we live in a world now where People, they care so damn much. They care so damn much about what the neighbors got to say about y'all relationship with. They care about their friends say. They 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 care about the pastor say. It's just too much. You know, they care about what their co-workers say about you and him. It's it just too much opinions. Like I said, a relationship is between two people, not... You, him, and the rest of the world. It's, it's it shouldn't be like that. And that and and that's how I am. I'm like, if I have a partner, I don't care about nobody else's opinion. I mean, because I'm the one that's going to be with them. Not not uh, even people in my family. I care. I give a damn about if they like my mate or not. Because a lot of them. 
nine out of ten wouldn't even be at my wedding. I wouldn't even give give my invite because I'm like this. And anybody that has negative input on your partner and uh, like I said, if you know your partner's a good person, if you know they love you, and you know they're down for you, that's all should matter. But anybody else's uh, opinion shouldn't matter. You know, I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, whoever, co-worker, boss. See, y'all care about her boss's opinions too much, but y'all don't care about y'all's opinion of each other. That's that's the only opinion that should matter. Y'all's opinion. Now, what do you think about her? You know, what does she think about you? That's what y'all should be worrying about. All these other opinions is just it's just like I said, distractions that like really it's a weapon to break y'all up. You know? You gotta pay attention. A lot of people are trying to break y'all up purposely, you know, with their opinions. You know, you got people that always have stories about your partner you with. So a lot of that negativity, not a lot of that negativity, you don't need that around you and your partner. And then you look at it like this. Anybody who bet anybody who's bashing your partner behind their back or whatever, anybody that has like any any negative stuff to say towards your partner, they shouldn't even be around y'all. You know, you gotta make that and you gotta make that clear to them. You know, you gotta tell them, I'm not trying to hear all this. You gotta stand beside your partner. You know, see, problem is some some of y'all, y'all would Y'all will be talking with the person that's talking trash about your partner. Y'all will talk about them and then, you know, y'all wonder why everything's, you know, right, how your you damn relationship so damn messed up. You know, that's why, because her, she taking a girlfriend's side and talking with the girlfriend about him. You know, he, on the other side, he, he care about what his, what his, what his homie saying about her and listen to all this story, so that's fake. You don't talk trash with the person, that's, with the people, because most of these people, they're trying to break y'all up. And if y'all already married, they're trying to, they want y'all to get divorced. Because see, people, they don't like you being happy. You know, most, most don't. Because a lot of these people that's talking this negative mess towards you, they're not even happy they said. You know, think about that. So if you know these people negative bring negative energy towards you, don't don't hand match your wedding. You know, and no matter who who that is, they can be your mother or father. If they it like that's like they say, toxic is toxic. You know, no matter who it is, toxic is toxic. All remember that. Don't don't never say, oh, so and so, uh, they mean me well. They they would never do that. You know, nah. You y'all gotta get that out your head. A lot of your close ones will do you like that, and a lot of them will be negative towards you. So if they show, if people show you who you are, who they are, believe. It. I had, when I was in a relationship, I had ones close to me that, like I said, them be the last people that I thought that had talked negative about my partner, but when I saw how, when I heard the words they had to say behind my partner's back, and they never met them, that's the reason why they didn't never meet them, because see, people wonder why, oh, you don't bring your partner around them, because, you know, you talk negative, that's why, and these same people, they can't even keep a relationship. So I'm like this, don't try to, you, you know, you can't give me advice on my relationship and you can't even keep nobody. Like I said, anytime you change in partners every couple months, you know, something wrong with that picture. So that's another that's another thing. You know, y'all need to stop taking advice from y'all single friends. They want you to be single right with them. 
You know, a lot of them don't want the best for you. Because we see, if you have any type of sense in your relationship, you won't cut a lot of single activities out. See, a lot of activities I had cut out when I when I was in a relationship. I wasn't going to the club no more. I wasn't going to the strip club. I wasn't I wasn't still meeting up with people that was trying to meet up with me. You know, that was trying to engage in cheating activities, you know. I cut all that stuff out. Buddies of mine that they was cheating on that, you know, girlfriends or wives, I will I will cut them back because like I said, if we don't stand for none of the same things. I can't hang with you because I'm, if I'm in a relationship, I'm trying to do right, right by my partner. You know, you got you got to practice what you preach. You can't be a loyal person and then hang around people that's doing dirt to their partner because, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. You might end up doing what they doing. You know you person doing dirt to their partner because you hanging you hanging with them. They might try to influence you to do what they do. So that's why certain people I no longer hanged around because a lot of people I knew they wasn't they wasn't worth worth, you know, they weren't worth nothing because their action showed that. It ain't about how much money you got. You can have all you you got like I said you have people they had this and that, but the action shows the action shows that that's all they have is money and material stuff. They don't have nothing, nothing else. They don't have no loyalty in their blood. They don't have no heart. You know, so some people, you know, they so poor. That's all they got. They so, that's all they got is that's all they got is money because they they don't you know they don't have nothing else. They don't have no honesty. You know, certain things you got you you must have. Like they say, you you either stand for something or fall for anything. So then, you know, what comes out of your mouth, you should better stand on it. it was like a buddy of mine, he talked all that mess about how he was loyal and how he wasn't cheap. But, you know, he, I looked at how he did his fiance. <laughs> so that goes to show you how, like I said, people's actions show you who they are. And then, like I said, they, they got... They end up getting a uh, divorce, and he tried to blame everything on her. Knowing, like I said, that he stepped out, he stepped out with with another person while she she at home. No, but but he told me what he was doing. But see, people, you have people that they they forget what they told you, or they want you to forget. You know what they told you, what they did. So. And I'm like this, anytime you claim this loyalty mess and you telling me, oh, I got to get this stuff out of my system before I get married, then why get married then? You might as well stay single if you want to play games and hang in the street. I just, I don't get these people. And then, and then got the nerve to tell me, I never get murdered again. Uh, talking about that that murder stuff ain't for nobody. I'm like this. Man. How you gonna screw around on somebody and get mad? You know that they get hit to the to the to the trash you doing. You know, answer that. That's why I tell you, practice what you preach. That's why I talk that loyalty stuff I'm about. You know, can't can't too many say that. If I like I said, if I have a partner, then that's the only person I'm doing stuff with. 
Now, one thing I can say about it, I was in a relationship, yeah, most, you know, that's when most, you know, that's when most, that's when you're going to be tested. That's when your loyalty and all they're going to be tested. That's when people, everybody come at the word, especially when you're trying to do the right thing. Shit. People's wives, and I'm not even bragging, people's wives, people's girlfriends, I'm like, oh, grandmothers, they just come at the world work trying to holler at me. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's some people that even, like I said, you don't even got to tell, you don't even got to tell people that you got some mind. It just somehow you curl yourself or they can smell it on you that, you know, that, like I said, that's when most people come at you when you have some mind. See, cheating has become the norm, so <laughs> you can be out and have somebody. A person will automatically ask you, oh, uh, where's your girlfriend at? He <laughs> said, where's your wife at? <laughs> and they'd be, they'd be ready to do something. Like I said, they don't, these people don't care. It's become the norm to have side chicks and females to have side dudes. I mean, that's normal that age. It became cool. I mean, I don't condone that. It's not cool to me. I'm just saying what the majority does. It it, it became cool. Like I said, the way I was raised, you know, I was raised on on loyalty. So, but like I said, that's something you can't even be taught. It's something just you got to have it in you. You can be you can be taught certain things all you want, but if it's not in you, it's just not in you. You know that that's point blank period. That's, that's, that's like I, I tell people. You have people that had these big weddings and like I said, their merge don't even be lasting long. You had people that uh, I know this lady this lady, she an entrepreneur she got married years ago. I think her and her husband been together. I don't know how long they've been together. They've been together for quite a while, like some years. And uh, they got married, matter of fact, in, in uh, somebody's backyard. And, you know, check this out. They are still together. So, you know, just put, just look at that. So it's not, it's not, oh, okay, uh, how much your wedding going to cost, that, uh, that's not going to mean that, you, that, you know, it's it's not going to mean a, 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 a longevity merge. You know, get that out your mind. How much the ring costs, <laughs> it, it's, like I said, it's, it's not going to matter. It, it depends on the two people, you know, them not giving up on each other. That's, that's what it comes down to. But just just because you have a big wedding or expensive wedding or expensive rings or expensive honeymoon, that's not it's not gonna make a difference. I'm telling you that now. And like this, you have people that's not even married that they they have a better bond than a lot of these people that I've heard. So, <laughs> you, you know, I mean, everybody's story is different. I mean, er, everything don't work for everybody. You got to do what work for you. Well, I, you know, just wanted to share that. I, like I said, I I agree with the lady that was on a radio show because I'm like this. Uh, if more women thought like that, then, you know, stuff would be better. You know, you need more more women to think like that. That okay, it don't matter how much the ring costs if it's real or fake. Or it don't matter, okay, if we get married in the backyard or you know, stuff like that. More people like I said, they thought like that world would be a better place, I'm telling you. You got people now that they they so caught up in the idea of getting married then and, and and having a big wedding, then then they are uh, uh, of the actual merge. 
a wedding became a trophy, a fashion show type of thing. But one thing I tell y'all, be be real wise of <laughs> the mate you choose, and choose carefully. Don't don't be in no rush because. Your co-worker got married, your friend got married, or your relative got married. You know, everything is not for a body. That's like marriage. Marriage is not for a body. Relationship is, relationships is not for a body. Some people are better off saying, you know, don't believe these books telling y'all that uh, everybody should be, mur you know, just like people are asking me, oh, why, why this and that person ain't getting married and why they ain't have kids? Well, look, kids are not for everybody. Not, nothing is for her by you know people just like I said it's best you do what works for you you know but it all it's all work marriage is work relationships are work kids is work so you know it, it's all work no matter how you look at it you know like I said none 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 worth having comes easy you know because if it was then Oh, everybody be doing it, right? <laughs> Y'all just keep, keep these things in mind. You know, this is the topic I want to touch on. So hopefully I enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, hit the like. You know, share the video. Uh, Subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. I thank you for my few new followers, my few new subscribers. We still on a journey to grow. Um, I thank for y'all love and support. You know, y'all don't, if y'all only knew, the appreciation I have for y'all subscribing and liking and, you know, taking your time out just to view my content, it means a lot, you know, so I just want to thank y'all. So we about to roll into another weekend, the end of the, the end of the week. So y'all, everybody take care of y'all stay safe, stay prayed up, you know, stay blessed and stay focused. Thank y'all.